all-seeing eye of the television camera never blinks and that it catches everything. In fact, but which moments have been the most memorable? Time and again, reality surprises us with unbelievable moments, like massive sinkholes swallowing roads and cars, or people risking their lives for no reason. It's as if the line between reality and fiction is razor thin. Join us as we show you moments that would be hard to believe if they weren't filmed. Number 15. Temple Crane Catastrophe While accustomed to serene grounds, one historic Thai Buddhist temple endured high drama when construction plans went awry back in August 2020. Seeking expanded facilities, the aging shrine hired contractors to dismantle its obsolete crematorium using a large crawler crane. But during disassembly operations, consequences nobody anticipated suddenly descended from above. As workers secured rigging hooks, events captured on video take a nightmarish turn. With just the lightest nudge, the giant crane's boom section unexpectedly shifts left and topples the entire structure. Monks observing nearby are horrified as the crane itself crashes through their sacred temple in ruins. Miraculously, no injuries resulted, but for local Buddhists, the site damage represented grave metaphysical transgressions. Some claimed vengeful spirits were angered over perceived sanctity violations. Meanwhile, police suspected basic negligence as investigators uncovered the crane's braking systems were disengaged, enabling its self-destruction once stability was lost. Temple artifacts and ornamental masonry suffered major damage under the crane's assault across several structures. Repair expenses approached 100,000 amidst contractor disputes over actual liability. But for worshippers who'd prayed here for generations, the true cost was a spiritual desecration of holy grounds that cannot be measured monetarily. Crane mishaps cause over 100 fatalities annually in Thailand's frenzied construction boom. Safety standards often lag behind equipment capabilities in the developing nation. Number 14. Chainsaw Mishap Fells Tree on House after an early winter storm buried their Massachusetts countryside home under fresh snowfall in late 2009, one family was reminded why certified professionals remain the wise choice for tree removal projects. Armed with determination and a chainsaw, their do-it-yourself efforts to clear a large elm tree would go dramatically awry. Confidently, the self-proclaimed lumberjack started his chainsaw and began slicing into the mature tree's thick trunk, hoping their frozen lakeside property would enable the towering elm could fall safely across his backyard onto stable ice. But several cuts later, loud cracks indicated all was not going as planned. The elm had become fatally destabilized and was now collapsing directly onto their home instead. Video captures the tree noisily shearing away porch rafters before a deafening crash signals extensive roof damage as well. Left staring skyward, the red-faced lumberjack had single-handedly created serious unplanned demolition. Later estimates indicate repairs easily cost over $8,000 in materials and labor alone for house restoration, far eclipsing average professional tree removal fees under $1,500 in the Northeast United States. Thankfully, nobody was injured during the contrary lumberjacking calamity. However, it provided a stark lesson about underestimating chainsaw capabilities when overestimating personal skills, and likely whenever gazing at their awkward patchwork roof line thereafter. The homeowners were reminded that surgical tree removal requires recognizing when paying a professional represents money wisely invested. In fairness, tree cutting looks deceptively simple, leading to over confidence. But in practice, it proves an exacting skill mastered only through years of apprenticeship. Certified arborists carefully assess the terrain, wind loads, and anatomical weight distribution within target trees before making meticulous cuts that control collapsing direction. Amateurs often misjudge critically important factors mid-operation, with devastating consequences as one hapless homeowner learned firsthand. Number 13. Close Train Call We've all experienced impatience while driving, but few motorists would intentionally ram another vehicle onto railroad tracks, much less attempt fleeing the scene afterward when a train approaches. Yet that's what transpired between two motorists in heart-stopping video footage. Events captured on camera begin with an SUV preceded by a delivery truck approaching a rail crossing with warning signals activated. The truck deliberately collides at speed with the leading SUV, pushing it out across the tracks into harm's way. A uniformed railway guard rushes forth, frantically signaling its occupants to exit their stranded vehicle immediately. 
but within 30 seconds of impact, matters dangerously escalated. The delivery truck inexplicably throws into reverse before racing off backwards with the guard's street sign still attached. Loud whistles are heard as a freight train barrels around the bend at 50 miles per hour. Panicked, The battered SUV's driver scrambles aboard just in time to save their disabled vehicle, narrowly avoiding calamity as boxcars whiz past, actually shearing the SUV's taillight. In the aftermath, dazed victims examined the damage to the SUV while the delivery truck vanished entirely. Suspicions of malicious intent emerged online, but the truck driver insisted brake failure caused his vehicle to lose control. Skeptics noted the suspect's brakes seemed in perfect condition while backpedaling from the approaching locomotive. Police continue seeking the motorist for questioning and possible charges. State prosecutors may seek additional punishment for callous disregard should collision facts support attempted homicide. For rail line owners struggling perennially against crossing accidents, the bizarre stapled video proves safety conditions along private crossings deserve heightened attention too. Number 12. Lion Guardian. Lions occupy apex predator status in Africa's sprawling savannas, seemingly answering only to ruthless survival instincts. Yet stirring videos occasionally surface revealing glimmers of compassion from the fearsome species, especially involving vulnerable cubs or calves separated from protective prides or herds. In one memorable clip filmed in Tanzania's Serengeti National Park, a young wildebeest finds itself targeted by a cackle of hyenas after straying from its family herd. Fighting exhaustion, the foal kicks and veers away from initial snapping attacks, but time works against it. Until to the shock, an enormous male lion emerges from the roadside brush. Jaws clenched and claws extended, the unexpected hero launches itself furiously onto the yelping pack in a blur of flying paws and fur. The hyenas immediately break contact, conceding rule of the grasslands to Africa's undisputed lion kings before slinking quickly away. Their would-be meal remains cowering nearby, itself half expecting an equal mauling next. Yet against all odds, the mystery lion peacefully approaches and stands protectively alongside the stranded calf. Scientists still struggle to explain spontaneous altruism among species, usually only demonstrating self-motivated behavioral traits around daily survival priorities like acquiring food and shelter. Some believe chemicals secreted under emotional stress can forge temporary neurological bonds, encouraging animals to act out of unusual character. In any case, the stranded wildebeest calf earned a second lease on life thanks to the lion roused beyond cold instincts into heroic action before expiring himself soon after. The incredible scene forever linked both species across Africa's unforgiving wilderness, proving that even amid entities battling daily for ecological dominance, glimpses of valor, community, and sacrifice occasionally emerge as well. Number 11. Flaming Permafrost Alaska's scenic vistas and untouched wilderness make the largest U.S. state hallowed ground for outdoor adventure junkies. Between aurora-kissed nights and landscapes carved by glaciers, possibilities feel limitless exploring America's last frontier, but increasingly, familiar terrain shows signs of flux hidden beneath the permafrost blanket smothering its northlands. In February, when frigid air transforms lakes and marshes into frozen playgrounds, savvy Alaskans frequently go ice prospecting searching for hidden methane pockets trapped below. Escaping gas hints at decomposition underway deep underground as once permanently frozen frozen subsoil defrosts. Usually it's a harmless exercise producing only disappointing tiny flame bursts. In 2015, two adventurers came across one of these bubbling lakes and captured one of those moments that would be hard to believe if they weren't filmed. The methane trapped below the ice offered them an intriguing opportunity for experimentation. After carving a hole in the ice, they sparked a lighter and boom, a burst of flame on the frozen lake. The methane gas must have concentrated in a huge bubble. When they lit it, it produced a massive burst of fire and the ice didn't even melt from the flames. Mother Nature threw them an unexpected pyrotechnic show using natural methane fuel. Geologists pin these bizarre flaming lakes to Alaska's thawing permafrost, dissolving ancient organic materials that release methane as a byproduct. It's a process accelerating yearly, with implications ranging from infrastructure damage to whole ecosystems being rewritten further north. Peering into their roaring ice-bound fire fountain, 
we glimpse climatic upheaval rapidly altering 49th state hinterlands as warmer seasons persist longer. Melting once permanent frost layers, Alaskans now witness entire hillsides slumping, forests invasion by southern species, and drunken trees tipping over as formerly anchored permafrost liquefies. If current trends continue, a third of all near-surface permafrost could disappear in 100 years. Number 10. Balloon Disaster on fair weather days, colorful hot air balloons grace skies worldwide carrying sightseers aloft for stunning panoramas. Floating gently on layered pockets of hot and cool air, balloons seem deceptively simple and safe compared to traditional aircraft. But danger always lurks for these canvas bubbles lacking maneuverability or mechanical power. If winds shift direction, balloons get carried sideways instead of climbing. While airplanes can throttle up to avoid threats, balloons must descend immediately before colliding with buildings, terrain, or electrical lines. Otherwise, deflated fabric and broken basket pieces may spiral down upon unfortunate victims below. This nearly happened back in June 2018 above Wisconsin farmlands, when shifting currents pushed one balloon into high-voltage cables. Captured on video, we see the colorful orb hover beautifully before brushing a power line tower. Instantly, the tether snaps amid sparks, dropping passengers screaming as the balloon bursts like a firework overhead. Foreign gas ignites, melting the collapsed envelope into fluttering plastic strips spewing downward. Meanwhile, the pilot cuts all burners in hopes of minimizing collateral damage across bystanders and property. Eventually, smoking basket pieces crash heavily aside a barn, luckily harming no one seriously. In the aftermath, investigators found gusts rotated the balloon after the initial cable impact, entangling it across wires to maximize destruction. Power crews raced to restore electricity. As the barn owners sighed gratefully, another farm building hadn't burned alongside their visitors' flaming aircraft debris. It serves as sobering evidence that even charming hot air balloon outings can transform swiftly into very real brushes with catastrophe. Number 9. Swallowed by Sinkhole The ground may seem steady underfoot, but erosion actively works below the surface across our planet. Water permeates soil and bedrock through infinitesimal cracks, slowly hollowing out subterranean caverns over epochs. Weight from above presses down until eventually a ceiling cavity no longer supports itself. When this geology gives way, we call the depression left behind a sinkhole. As recently as 2013 in Drogheda, Ireland, Footage captured cars and entire houses vanishing into the earth. More tragically, Guatemala suffered over 1,400 sinkhole deaths in 2007 and 2008. Typically though, sinkholes appear gradually, signaling their presence before causing harm. But occasionally, no warnings manifest, endangering anyone caught in the wrong place as solid ground abruptly turns fluid. That nearly happened to one truck driver in southern Russia's Krasnodar Krai region. The camera recorded the terrifying moment, a bustling street collapsed under his cement mixer. The video shows a Toyota sedan cruising safely past as our driver rolls forward. Then, without warning, the mixer's front axle lurches sickeningly left. Tires disappear downward, halting the vehicle at a precarious 45-degree angle, half swallowed by the fresh pit. Moments earlier, the same piece of road was used by other cars, underscoring how randomly sinkhole formation strikes. Russian authorities quickly flagged the area, assessing a weakened sub-base beneath the cavity, likely soil or limestone eroded by water until surface asphalt lost underlying support. Thankfully, no injuries occurred, and a construction crew soon arrived to fill the void. Number 8. Daredevil's Dive Adventurists constantly seek to test the extremes of human limitations, and some search beyond even Earth itself for envelopes left to push. In 2014, two such risk-takers aimed skyward for what became the highest base jump ever successfully performed on planet Earth, leaping 2,717 feet off downtown Dubai's towering Burj Khalifa skyscraper into notoriety. Base jumping as a dangerous sport needs no special introduction after decades of videos capturing its stunning triumphs and disasters. Base stands simply for the platforms that leaped from buildings, antennas, spans, and Earth. Equipment has improved, allowing amazing glide ratios, but lethal accidents even among experts remain disconcertingly routine even today. What they did at Burj Khalifa was beyond ordinary base jumping itself. 
clad in specialized wingsuits, they would plunge from beyond even leading helicopter altitude limits before orienting into a nail-biting descent spanning nearly two minutes and a thousand feet per second at peak velocities. Footage captured shows the duo leaping without hesitation off platform edges into yawning urban chasm in slow motion. A skydive of nearly 50 seconds transpires before routinely deploying parachutes, gliding past glittering towers on rushing at a maniac pace. Number 7. Surfing with Sharks Surfing as a surface water sport carries innate risk, but usually just from drowning or head trauma by wave collision. Yet lurking beneath every celebrated ride is the silent menace of oceanic predators, namely sharks. Uncommon but terrifying attacks do transpire yearly, keeping surfers alert for dorsal fins cutting the swell behind them. This inherent danger turned abruptly real back in July 2015 for Australian pro surfer Mick Fanning. Competing off South Africa's Indian Ocean coastline, he sensed something bump his board during a world championship heat. Instantly, a large shark ripped into sight, its tail lashing as it tugged fiercely at Fanning's trailing leg rope. Instead of freezing, Fanning reacted to defend himself, clearly fighting for his very life, before officials arrived aboard jet skis to pluck him safely away. Astonishingly, two years afterward, almost the exact scene repeated itself at the same surf venue and contest event. Fanning again found himself scrambling away from a large shark targeting him in the lineup, marking not just improbable odds, but hinting clues tied to his personal chemistry or habits that repeatedly attracted predators. By then, enough was enough. Shortly thereafter, Mick Fanning tearfully announced his retirement from professional surf touring for good in 2018. Who could ever blame him? But with two savage toe-to-toe -to -toe brawls with sharks caught on tape, this Australian icon will never shed his reputation treading where few dare. Number 6. Crash in the Woods in northern Sweden, one elderly aviator chose adventure over sound judgment. Electing to depart not from an established runway, he attempted flying his vintage Russian biplane from an improvised meadow. Despite the Antonov on II's rugged reputation, the decision nearly cost him dearly. Once airborne over the modest pasture, the lumbering on II barely climbed high enough to clear the upcoming tree line. As pilots say, the aging tail-dragger aviator was behind the aircraft, struggling to maintain control. Mere seconds later, disaster ensued when the antique plane grazed treetops and crashed ignominiously back to Earth, thankfully in one battered piece. Thanks Soviet over-engineering for this lucky pilot, cheating death. Hulking Antu biplanes earned nicknames like Anushka, or the breaker of records through exceptional durability, originally meant to transport Soviet bloc passengers and cargo into Siberia's forbidding wilderness. It's why Antus are among aviation's longest continuous production aircraft today, still deployed in developing regions globally. Their ability to take off and land on short, muddy runways makes them almost as versatile as helicopters. You'll even spot Antus combating wildfires or flying crop dusters over fields, nearly 70 years after their first flight back in 1947. But with an anemic 1,000 horsepower engine, the antiquated aircraft needs open space to gather momentum, which the test pilot lacked in rural Sweden. No substitute exists for proper runway length when generating sufficient airspeed before struggling aloft. Ignore this, and disaster looms quickly. Trees and rugged terrain offer no mercy for wandering aircraft. Thankfully, the Swedes' close shave with mortality left man and machine badly shaken but repairable, and no worse for their shared misadventure. No doubt his brush visiting a farmer's field instead of a routine takeoff strip provided an invaluable learning experience for them both. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Our world is filled with bizarre phenomena that challenge our sense of reality. Thanks to the prevalence of cameras in the modern era, we have captured moments that would be hard to believe if they weren't filmed. This particular image was taken by a tourist in the picturesque mountain village of Wengen, Switzerland. He saw a woman inexplicably suspended and floating upright in midair, her body seemingly violating the laws of physics before a stunning alpine backdrop. While we lack the context to determine whether trickery is at play, 
The photograph evokes strange mysteries and folk tales from across cultures about levitation or the unexplained defiance of gravity. Though typically more fabled than factual, there have been scattered first-hand accounts like certain Buddhist traditions that claim enlightened practitioners can unlock the transcendental ability to float through deep yogic stances or meditative trances that tap into latent psychic energy in the body. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think a person can reach a level of meditation that enables them to float? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Rocket Failure When private aerospace firm Orbital Sciences fulfilled a NASA resupply contract to the International Space Station back in 2014, things catastrophically malfunctioned mere seconds into the flight of their Antares rocket. The launch appeared perfectly routine as the vehicle cleared its coastal Virginia launch pad without issues under full thrust. But 15 seconds later, a fiery mid-flight explosion lit the evening skies over Wallops Island. Reviews later determined an engine turbo pump failed, just shy of reaching maximum aerodynamic stresses, dooming the rocket's flight. In seconds, Antares became an uncontrolled 100-foot-tall Roman candle, shedding flaming debris across protected marshlands adjoining NASA facilities before its uncontrolled descent triggered a half-mile-wide blast zone of scorched earth. The calamity made global headlines as cameras captured the dazzling mid-air explosion with clear views. No injuries resulted since safety zones kept spectators well away. But the payload and millions of dollars in rocket hardware rained down as scattered wreckage instead of safely achieving orbit. Catastrophic launch failures prove exceedingly rare in modern aerospace, but serve as chilling reminders of physics and engineering limits crews continually graze. Northrop Grumman now relies on upgraded Antares rockets, but acknowledges the costs when technology and materials strain beyond their structural tolerances, as spectacularly witnessed that failed night above Virginia's space coastline. Number 4. Catastrophic Dam Collapse Dams serve vital purposes worldwide, from generating hydroelectricity to containing industrial mining waste. But when structural limits are exceeded, overtopping or outright dam wall failures unleash calamity downstream. This manifested at epic scale back in January 2019 when Brazil's Brumadinho Dam collapsed, rankling as history's deadliest mine disaster. The dam had confined toxic iron ore refinery sludge under 68 feet of water, roughly 10% was dried solid, while the remaining wet contents with the consistency of plaster released a churning mega-tsunami of mud when containment walls buckled. Over 11 million cubic meters of earthy sludge was suddenly set loose, instantly burying the mine's administrative areas under 33 feet of mud. Yet worse was the human toll. Located just 200 feet downhill, company offices and industrial facilities were hammered by a half-mile-wide viscous wave thundering 34 miles per hour. Security cameras captured its lead edge looming skyward, obliterating multi-story structures in seconds. There would be scant escape for the mine's 300 workers and 500 visiting contractors directly overwhelmed. In all, 270 souls perished under churning currents of debris, so violent trees were stripped of bark and foliage. Alongside factory buildings disappeared entire buses, trucks, and excavation equipment submerged under the advancing quagmire. Flooding continued for five more miles, clogging tributaries and contaminating Brazil's Pariopiba River, used by over 30 cities. In the aftermath, outcry emerged regarding overlooked safety lapses, especially after Brazil's similar Mariana Dam failure just three years prior. Brumadinho was only certified stable despite its wet tailings design being globally discontinued. Yet even robust engineering can falter when structural margins are exceeded, demonstrated by the terrifying power of these toxic floodwaters, wiping landmarks and lives off the map in minutes. Number 3. Plane Crash Takeoff Fail In January 2019, a Cessna single-engine plane attempted departure under dicey circumstances from Lampasas Airport in central Texas. Rather than taxi down the runway, the pilot turned onto a taxiway, apparently reasoning the stiff winds would provide adequate lift for takeoff. It proved a dire miscalculation. The light aircraft slowly drifted forward as the pilot applied throttle, initially angling into the wind, but powerful gusts dragged its tail sideways as the Cessna gathered speed. Mere seconds after leaving the taxiway, disaster struck. Still, well below takeoff velocity, the hapless plane bounced through a gauntlet of trees onto an embankment beside a nearby road, all captured clearly on video. Miraculously, the pilot emerged largely unscathed from the ordeal, 
if not his pride. But the crash left investigators scratching their heads to explain such a fundamental flight error. Takeoff speed requirements are aviation basics taught to all pilots, which begs the question of what the aviator was thinking. The post-crash analysis cited improper risk assessment and inadequate pre-flight planning as contributing factors. The Federal Aviation Administration remains worried about pilots attempting takeoffs in marginal weather, which leads to loss of control accidents. Crosswinds represent an invisible menace that can exceed aircraft mechanical limits while on the ground, and light planes like Cessna single engines are most vulnerable, lacking weight to counteract sudden wind gusts. This puts the onus firmly on pilots to make conservative decisions aligning with their aircraft's capabilities. In this case, the taxiway offered barely enough room to clear the airplane's slow acceleration rate before trees loomed. Runways provide vastly safer options in headwinds, where pilots have latitude if they need to abort during takeoff. Investigators ultimately blamed Get There Itis, a hazardous mindset where pilots obsess over Number 2. Demolition Gone Wrong in December 2014, workers at a demolition site in Chongqing, China got busy taking down a five-story building. They used the giant jackhammer attached to a backhoe to weaken the structure, but failed to anticipate how it would fall. By the time they realized what was happening, it was too late. Most of the first floor is gutted as the backhoe hammer pounds away at a main support beam. The backhoe driver seems satisfied and starts backing away, just moments before the building crumbles. Initially, it seems to go according to plan, but then the building tilts left and almost lands directly on top of the excavator. The entire scene disappears behind a massive dust cloud. According to local reports, the excavator driver emerged unharmed from his close call with the toppling building. However, this serves as a sobering reminder of the immense dangers involved in demolition work. Structures can be unpredictable when being taken apart, especially larger buildings constructed from concrete and steel. The demolition crew clearly misjudged which way the building would fall and did not give themselves enough room to maneuver safely. This incident reveals the importance of careful planning and preparation when attempting the controlled destruction of buildings. Experts estimate over 90% of structural failures during demolition result from inadequate assessment of where and how a building will collapse. Highly technical engineering analysis takes place beforehand, using computer models to virtually test different techniques. But as this video shows, even the best laid plans can still go awry in the field. Demolition is most risky when the structure shifts in unexpected ways, as it did here in Chongqing. Gravity exerts massive force as thousands of tons of material accelerate downward. Once momentum heads in dangerous directions, it becomes almost impossible to correct in real time. Workers are left scrambling for their lives. In the United States, strict oversight exists around demolition operations after numerous fatalities in the early 20th century. Today, managing debris and containing collapse zones receives paramount consideration to protect workers as well as surrounding infrastructure. With urban demolition jobs, officials establish robust safeguards to prevent structural debris from raining onto unsuspecting pedestrians and motorists nearby. Number 1. Jet plunges into the sea. In a shocking event that sent ripples across Britain's Royal Navy, one of the country's newest and most advanced fighter jets plunged into the Mediterranean Sea after failing to take off properly from the HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier. It happened during routine flight operations in the early morning over international waters. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, the pride of the English fleet, was launching sorties with its F-35 stealth fighter jets. These were no ordinary warplanes. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is the world's most sophisticated supersonic stealth aircraft loaded with advanced avionics and radar evading technologies. Yet as pilots raced down the flight deck, one British F-35 pilot found themselves in an unprecedented catastrophe. As the jet roared full throttle towards the carrier's bow, it slowed and drifted to the left, seemingly struggling to accelerate to lift off speeds. The video captures the dramatic aftermath. The F-35 topples over the edge of the ramp and plunges forward to splash down, nose first, in a tremendous plume of spray. By then, the pilot had safely ejected via parachute to be recovered from the water. For military brass back in London, however, it was a colossal and embarrassing failure on the world stage, with implications for NATO readiness. Each F-35 jet costs over 100 million US dollars, enough to buy roughly 300 family-sized homes in the English countryside. Now, one of Britain's eight newest stealth jets rested beneath the waves, 
thanks to pilot error or mechanical issues unknown. Immediately, the UK military tried clamping down on media leaks surrounding the incident, but smartphone footage circulated widely online nonetheless, sparking a firestorm of speculation around the cause. The consensus settled on failure to achieve the minimum 154 knots of airspeed required to generate lift due either to pilot blunder or engine throttle malfunctions. In times past, equipment malfunctions did not always end so well. The 1966 Palomares B-52 crash saw four hydrogen bombs ejected over Spain, contaminating 500 acres with plutonium the U.S. military struggles to contain today. Hopefully, underwater salvage efforts fared better securing this sunken symbol of British naval power. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.